What's up, Internet? I wanted to make a short video about a project I'm working on recently. So I drive a 2015 Nissan Murano. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this car. But the one complaint I've always had about this car over the last few years is that this car does not have Apple CarPlay. Pretty much all modern cars these days come with Apple CarPlay. I can play music from my phone on my car and it works fine. So why do I care about Apple CarPlay? Well, CarPlay gives me better integration with my apps on my phone with the car. For example, if I use Google Maps on my phone, it shows up on my car's GPS dashboard. It looks great. It comes through the car speakers and it just looks like a first class experience. I wanted Apple CarPlay in my car and there was no way to get an upgrade. I begged and pleaded with Nissan on Twitter and email over the phone. There was nothing they would do. I went on the Nissan Murano forums and what I found out was that Nissan Altima owners were putting newer car radios from junkyards in their older Altimas to get CarPlay and it was working. I found out the same thing was working for a few people for Murano's. I picked up a radio unit for my car from a junkyard in Tennessee, bought it online. It's got a few little minor scratches, but overall it's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna install this thing in my car to get Apple CarPlay working. All right, let's do it. This piece, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe we can look up this info online, but this has to come off of the head unit, and uh, the the screws are uh, some kind of special uh, proprietary screw. So, I'm gonna use this uh, kit here with these special screwdriver heads to take this off and put it on the new unit. So. Okay, here it goes. So far so good, screen's on. Car play settings. All right, so we got everything set up. Now let's check out CarPlay here. So I've got my phone here. I'll plug it in. And then you can see here, uh, here I've got over here my apps, my Apple apps and CarPlay, podcasts, Spotify, etc. So pretty excited to have this working. If you're curious about how I did this and you want to do this in your own car, I'll post in the comments below the site that I found the radio replacement radio on with the instructions and any other important details. Hope some of you guys will try it out and let me know how it goes.